My name is Sophia Ivy. I'm from Ukraine. I'm 16 years old, and my dad and my brother are in Ukraine now. They sit without electricity, without they even sometimes can cook a meal, and that's that's really scary. This war that's that's break our lives, and now I want to sing you about that. Ям голям знов дитина здійнялась над хмари. Now, for the past eight months, Poland has been actively helping millions of Ukrainian refugees. This help can come from various groups and individuals also from the world of sport. Two American football teams from Warsaw organized a special charity match to gather funds for Ukrainian refugee centers. It's all very exciting that there's football being played in, in Poland and that I hope that there will be football being played again in Ukraine soon. Have you had people that you have lost in the war? No, the husband. Your husband? Yes. I'm so sorry. Was he a, was he a soldier? He was a He was a priest in the church, military priest in, in Ukrainian church. And Russia attacked the church? Uh, her brother is in uh, captivity for more than five uh, months. Your brother's in captivity? Yes. Russian captivity? And do you have no contact with him? No. I saw what happened in Ukraine and it really touched me in it. For me, it, I was thinking, what can I do to help? And so we got together, we brainstormed, we thought about, hey, okay, let's send some guys to the border every week to pick people up and transport them wherever they need to go. The Ukrainian, the Polish border? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we you had, say, we'll wait there, and if people come and flee oh, they, were Ukraine, they were coming in waves, like, really? where it was, it was, it was. What's that like? They're, 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 they're basically fleeing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then, what is that like when you see them? They're lost because they're confused and scared about what the situation is, where it's gonna go, uh -huh. and then also they have no idea what the future holds. During tragic times, football can really open doors for people. So I said, hey, let's go to the refugee camps, let's go to the shelters, any kids, girls or boys who want to be a part of cheerleading or be a part of football, hey, you can join for free, just come be a part of it, just to give you an outlet. The first team you played for, what city was that in, the Wolves? In Vinitsa. It's in like central Ukraine. Wasn't there an incident, uh, like a, a violent incident? What happened? There was a bombing there. Was uh, there? Yeah, a few months back. And it was surprising for everybody because they're not like a strategic area and one day they just bombs started going off. So a lot of friends sent me videos and pictures of places where I, where I used to live. Like right down the street, a bomb had destroyed a part of the city or part of the park where I live next to. So to see the city destroyed for, for no reason, it's not even for a strategic reason. To kind of see that, it was like, it, it really put into, into emphasis on what's really going on. They've got this set up so that <laughs> this is the Russian embassy and staring at it morning, noon, and night is this death specter of the Russian leader across the street. It's not subtle and it's not wrong. Hi Kyle, I want to make a video about 